Welcome, I'm Ron Painter, CEO from the National Association of Workforce Boards, and we are live from Forum 2019 in the Exhibit Hall. And I hope you hang around with me for the next few moments because I'm talking to Tom Cavanaugh from Public Consulting Group. Tom, Ron. welcome, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for, for PPG. You guys are a great partner, and uh, you and I have done some road shows together. We have. We have had a lot of fun doing them as well. So um, I'm going to ask you like, to start off, tell us a little bit about PPG. PCG, Public Consulting Group, is a international consulting group. We focus on human services, healthcare, education, uh, public-private partnerships, all of our work is really centered around helping government do work better. So PCG is based in Boston, but you are an Indiana guy. I am. And Hillsdale College. Yes, sir. Alma mater. So, and you, that's where you got your start, was in Indiana. It is. I started in the uh, industry back in 2000 as an operator of services, and then grew from there. Uh, worked in Indiana, Ohio, California in operations and then moved in with a public consulting group about eight years ago now. So you get to see a lot around the, the country as I do. And again, you and I have done a lot of road shows to, together working with local boards. What's the, what's the big change you've seen, Tom, from when you came into this business? The conversation. The conversation that boards are having, I think, is, is really the big change. Uh, it's not just about what we're doing for the job seeker. It's changed to what are we doing for the employers? How are we helping our community? What are we doing to affect the economy? And, and so this is a conversation that workforce boards are having more frequently or, yes. or like having at all. Yeah. I don't think, you know, when I first came into the business, we didn't talk about that at all. It was all about what are we doing with WIA performance and focused on that. And now the, the conversation has changed. It's elevated from the board's perspective. They're being more strategic around their conversations. So it's a lot more about business. It is. So... <clears throat> PCG does a lot of work on the, on, on the social service side of, of the ledger. Are you seeing more of this conversation around how do we get the individual competitive in the labor market on, on that side of the, the, I guess, our world? Uh, yeah, I think when you stop and really just take a step back and look at the social service programs, the TANF, Wagner, Pizer, all the cash assistance programs, they're all aimed at getting someone back to work and getting them off the rolls. And so now it's time to, to, to begin to, to bring that conversation together and how does the workforce system and our social service systems work together because our outcomes are the same. Our goal is the same with the individual. Are you seeing more of that blending happening? And, and if you do, like where would be places that you would think of as, a, as doing that well or at least really down the, far down the road in doing it? I think there, there are two states in my mind that, that jump out when thinking about that. One is Texas where they've really made an effort from a statewide perspective to put a lot of the funding streams underneath the auspices of the workforce boards. So they've TANF, SNAP, Wagner Pizer, Voc Rehab now is all underneath the workforce board and then they're responsible for administering that in the local area. And the other state that's done a good job with that is Florida as well. So it's more about that the, it starts with the conversation being joined about where is the job seeker going in terms of skills and in terms of employment, and then are you watching the systems follow? Is there a lot more system integration, I guess? It, it's becoming better. I think that WIOA challenged us as a workforce system to integrate better with these other systems, and some of the compliance issues around MOUs and having the actual written agreements that talk about the value of working together, uh, leveraging and blending our resources together has really pushed the conversation so that now we're, as a system, we're working together. Instead of working next door to each other, we're working together. So what do you see as some of the, some of the barriers to, to making that happen, I guess, more effectively or more efficiently? The biggest barrier that comes to my mind when we're thinking about blending these systems together, blending our resources together, but the fact that we still operate in government silos and the programs operate in the government silos. And those silos have some walls that are not so easy to break down and not as easy to blend together and work together. We're all working towards the same thing. We're all trying to get someone a job. We all approach it differently. We all have our own compliance, our own regulations. And so thinking about it from that perspective is trying to break down those walls and let's have one goal, one aim from, from the workforce and social services perspective is where we need to go. We had 
uh, what turned out to be a really great experience together working at a, at a local level around some workforce boards that were in the process of consolidating. Part of that was to establish the goals. Let's start with what are, what are the goals. Do you find as you're working with workforce boards and systems across the country that that's, that really rings true? That's a great place to start. What are we trying to do? I think that's one of two places to start. In that, that project that we did where we worked with five boards consolidating to two, we did two things. One, you're right, we started with the goals. Where do you want to be? What do you want to look like in the future? That's not always a conversation that's had. I think it's, that's part of the conversation that I referenced earlier that's happening today at board levels is they are talking about the future. But the other thing that we asked them about were, what were the things that you valued as an individual board that you didn't want to see go? What was important to your community, your region that you wanted to make sure that was recognized and stayed in place when you went to a consolidated effort? And I think if you take those two things and boards think about those two things, They'll be much. The, the conversation will be much further ahead. It took a little bit of patience to to work <laughs> through that, right? Sure did. So it does take conversation and, and lots of patience. Um, what's the best part of your day? When I wake up, <laughs> and I get to start a new day, working with in the, in the workforce industry. I mean, we heard an an awesome speech this morning from the chairman of Snap On. And it just, it just reminds us that we have to, you know, we're energetic, but we can make a difference. We can make a difference in people's lives. None of us grew up thinking we'd be in the workforce industry, yeah. but we did it by choice. We did it by choice because it's ingrained in us that we want to help people. And the way that we've chosen to do it is we want to help people better themselves, get to the next opportunity in their lives. And the workforce system allows us to do that. Tom, any, any last thoughts, any advice you want to give somebody? If you were, if you were um, and I won't say, uh, I'll use the, we did an interview earlier with Mark Douglas and we used the term youngerish. So I'll use that <laughs> term. So if you're youngerish, um, are you optimistic about the industry? Would you tell people this is, this is a great business to be in? Absolutely. I mean, it's not one, it's not, uh, we're not known as the uh, glamorous industry right now, but we work hard and it's a very rewarding industry to be in when you can make a difference in one person's life see them grow see them advance see them get that job get that job offer see the smile on their face that's what it's all about and just seeing that even once a month or once a year it's just it's that gratifying it'll carry your momentum for the rest of the time that you're working I'm Ron Painter, CEO for the National Association of Workforce Boards. I've been joined by Tom Cavanaugh from the Public Consulting Group. Great friend, great road partner, Tom, thanks. Thanks, Appreciate Ron. it.